Hello everybody, nice here. Join me to cut some ginger soaps. I have uh, five, five logs of them. Three big, one smaller, and uh, one loaf of uh, ginger loofah soaps. Along with the basic oils, there is here uh, organic ginger powder, some uh, clay for the pencil line is uh, cocoa powder, and of course uh, essential oils are uh, ginger and uh, some li some lime and orange and a little bit of cinnamon to spice it. The fact that I am making uh, ginger soaps is due to the things that I am uh, only uh, now a soaker. I'm not working in any other job. The ginger soaps are not best sellers because it's not a, a scent like lavender or a lemongrass that everybody likes. Here is the sample. Here is the smaller loaf. Let me show you. I made some swirls because uh, there was not enough of the ginger uh, ginger layer left. Actually, I would prefer it to be cleaner, but it's also nice. So if I'm making ginger soaps, that means I have some extra time. There are some people addicted and they like it very much, but it's not the average taste. And if you go to my Etsy shop, you see that I have lots of varieties of soaps. And they are all real in stock. So if I don't have time, I need to make priorities. And the priorities are due to the best sellers. Not all the time, but uh, most of the time. I mean... I will not be without shampoo bars or without uh, shaving soaps. Although there are some soaps that are selling better, because because. <laughs> but without ginger, and can be quite a long time. So the smell of the soap is beautiful and spicy and real ginger, no artificial fragrance. Always people approaching to my stand telling me that my soaps are looking like cakes. I never meant to make them like cakes. But if this is what attracts them, so let it be. And this uh, is really inspired by ginger cake or ginger cookies. And it really smells like this. These are my loofahs that after I wash them and cut them for uh, put them in the soaps. Because I'm working with tourists, I noticed that in some countries people don't know what is loofah. And here in Israel, it's selling in, every, in, in uh, the markets. It's easy to find. 
Now let's unmold them. I'm pushing the sides here. Just a little bit. They don't have to be perfect. Um, they have the rustic look to them. The clients, they love the loofahs. I like the combination between the loofah and the uh, ginger. I think it's uh, pretty nice. You see there is a smooth side to it and rough side to it. So I always tell to my clients that when you are taking a shower with the loofah soaps you can decide whether to uh, use this side or this side. Depend on the area in the body if you know what I mean. Because for some areas in the body, the loofah can be too, too uh, harsh. Some loaves I cut uh, already cut off camera, not to bore you. Keep watching, I'll be back for the to show you the, the whole batch. If you like the smell of ginger, this is the soap for you. This is real ginger essential oil blend without artificial fragrance that uh, doesn't contain any ginger and cold ginger. The fragrances are not good for your skin, although they are much cheaper, it's not worth using them. I don't know if you can see, the soap is not fully smooth, it has like rivers, we the soap makers we call it glycerin rivers. It is due to the fact that it's still very hot in September in Tel Aviv, even at night. After the making of the soap, the soap tends to heat and this heat is good for the soap, it creates the gel phase that we call gel. This gel is uh, creating a milder bar and make it cure faster. I made this soap only 24 hours ago, even less, and my hands are not burning at all while I'm cutting it. Because, because it was gelling. After I'm making the soap, I'm opening the windows because I'm working with air conditioner and let it uh, do its, jo its job to heat and to gel uncovered and insulated just from the heat outside. So it has some glycerin river, rivers. If you like loofah and you like uh, ginger, this is exactly the soap for you. If you want to purchase one, I will post them in my Etsy shop a month from, from now. It would be around the middle of October. Feel free to contact me with every question you have. Again, my videos are not tutorials or step-by-step -step videos. That's why I'm not answering to questions about recipes and so on. My videos are mainly for my clients. If you like all natural soap making, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Till the next time, bye Hila.